Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And today we're here to talk about five things to think about before I quit my job and do ATM full time. So the first thing that I think about before I quit my job and do ATMs full time is don't quit my job and do ATMs full time. Continue building that ATM business up. Right now you have a, a job and we're going to use the $30,000 annual income here as, as an example. And so what you want to do is you want to continue on your job for a, a bunch of reasons that we'll go through in the video. But you want to keep building that ATM business on the side. Let's call it a side hustle. And you want to keep building that business up and up and up. And you're going to rely on your full-time job. And then eventually you're going to make a shift to make your part-time job or part-time hustle full-time income and your full-time job more of a side hustle. So to reiterate, the first thing that I would think about is don't quit your job. So the second thing to think about is, so if I do quit my job, what's the magic number? I had a friend of mine and what happened is they were in an ATM business and they were rock and roll and they didn't really like their job and they're like, I'm making enough money, I'm gonna quit my job. And I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't ask a lot of questions, well, how much are you making or, or you know, what, what do you need to sustain your family? He just said, I'm gonna quit my job and do ATMs full time. I'm only spending about 15 hours a week on it. Uh, I could spend more, more time on it and make more money. And so, I, again, I didn't, wasn't paying attention to the numbers or what he was doing. And then what happened is he, he did that. He quit his job. And then what, what the situation was is he lost the location. And it was a good location. And now he was struggling not only to, uh, he was struggling to make his, his car payment every month because he didn't have enough of income because he lost that one location. And the, the place just went out of business and it really st stunned him. So he needed to really focus on again is to earn double amount just in case for a rainy day situation so what he had to do is he had to go back out find another job and then and then slowly build up the atm business to, to replace his income from that job and it, it worked out pretty good because he got a job he he did that for about a year and a half and he kept funneling all the extra money he could into the atm business when then he could finally I don't say retire, but leave his his other job, and then he started doing ATMs on a full time basis. But it was in the beginning he didn't realize he's like, oh, all I thought I needed was enough income. And then when we started talking about it, he said, you know what, I should have had more more of a nest egg before I quit, just in case something like that happened. He never foresaw for he didn't see the foresight in if that location closed or something like that happened. So always plan for a rainy day just in case something out of ordinary happens if you decide to quit your job. Again, my, my, my vision is not to, I wouldn't quit your job right away until you really have a good base. Um, why not, don't stress yourself out, why not continue earning money from the full-time job and then keep pumping that money into your ATM business along with the ATM business and it's just rolling and rolling and rolling. At the worst case scenario, you'll have a nice nest egg. So I want you to write this down. For this example, let's say we're gonna use 30,000. So I want you to write $30,000 on a piece of paper, okay? And we're just gonna break that up for simple math. We're gonna break it up in, into 10 easy sections. So that's $3,000 a month. So I wanna write, write down $3,000, okay? Now to replace your income to when you're gonna quit your job, I want you to write down 6,000. You're gonna need double the amount of money that you're currently making now and able to quit your job. Because right now you have a steady source of income from your job and the ATM business, even though it's starting to roll pretty good, things happen out of the blue that will limit the amount of money that you could make, okay? Some of the things, you know, maybe you, and I, I don't wanna be negative here, but disasters do happen. You have a tornado or a hurricane or in, in like if you're in California, you got the fires and something like that could take place and start to limit your income. And that'll stunt your growth from growing. So what you wanna do is you wanna have, um, you wanna think, always think twice of what you're making. Again, for this example, we're gonna use
And the third thing you need to think about before you quit your job and you take ATMs full time is buying equipment, okay? Is you wanna, you wanna have enough opportunity, and again, if we go with the 6,000, it won't be an, an issue, but if you, if you do less, then what happens is you get an opportunity to, let's say you're, you're in a gas station, and the gas station owner says, you know, I like what you're doing, I got a cousin, he's got four gas stations, and now you're like thinking, okay, four gas stations, uh, $2,500 a piece, that's, <clears throat> that's 10 grand, I don't have 10 grand to do something to, to make this expense because I gotta pay my, my light bill, my electricity, my rent. And so what I'm saying to you is always, when we revert back to um, double the amount of income, that way you will be able to continually growing your ATM business and make it more profitable year after year, month after month than it is now. Okay, I hope that video was helpful. Hope you guys help you think about when to quit your job. We have an additional two uh, points that I want to make that it will be located in the ATM Mastermind group page. Remember, it doesn't cost anything to join. There should be a, a link in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you later. Thank you very much.